In this video, we are going to study about the vertebral system that supplies the brain. The vertebral artery, a branch of the subclavian artery, ascends in the foramina transversoria of upper six cervical vertebrae. On reaching the base of the skull, it winds backwards and medially around the lateral mass of the atlas and pierces the posterior atlanto occipital membrane to enter the posterior cranial fossa through the foramen magnum where it runs on the anterolateral aspect of the medulla here the two vertebral artery converge and unite at the lower border of the pons to form the basilar artery the loop of the vertebral artery around the lateral mass of the atlas may damp down the arterial pulsation within the cranial cavity. Now we will see the branches of the cranial part of the vertebral artery. The first branch is the anterior spinal artery. It is a small branch arising near the termination of the vertebral artery. It ascends in front of the medulla and unites with its fellow of the opposite side at the level of the lower end of the olive to form a single median trunk that descends along the anterior longitudinal fissure of the spinal cord. The next branch is the posterior spinal artery. The posterior spinal artery arises from the vertebral artery and sometimes from the posterior inferior cerebellar artery. It passes downwards on the posterior surface of the spinal cord after dividing into two branches one along the medial side the other along the lateral side of the dorsal root of the spinal nerve the next branch is the posterior inferior cerebellar artery it is the largest branch of the cranial part of the cerebral artery it arises near the lower end of the olive winds backward around the medulla oblongata then ascends to the ponto medullary junction the next branch is the meningeal branches which are small and they supply the dura matter of the posterior cranial fossa the next branches are medullary branches they are several minute vessels which supply the medulla oblongata Next we will see the basilar artery. The basilar artery is formed by the union of two vertebral artery at the lower border of the pons. The artery ascends in the basilar sulcus on the ventral aspect of the pons in the cisterna pontis and terminates at the upper border of the pons by dividing into right and left posterior cerebral artery. Now we will see what are the branches of the basilar artery. The first branch is the pontine arteries. The pontine branches are numerous short slender paramedian vessels which pierce the pons to supply it. The next branch is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. The anterior inferior cerebellar artery arises close to the lower border of the pons and runs backwards and laterally usually ventral to the 7th and the 8th cranial nerve. Then it forms the loop over the flocculus of the cerebellum and peeps into the internal acoustic meatus for a variable distance lying below the 7th and the 8th cranial nerves. After exit from the meatus, it supplies the anterolateral portion of the inferior surface of the cerebellum. The next branch is the lab labyrinthine artery. It is a long slender branch which arises either from the basilar artery or from the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. It accompanies the vestibulocochlear nerve or the 8th cranial nerve and enters the internal acoustic meatus to supply the internal ear and it is an end artery.
next artery is the superior cerebellar artery the superior cerebellar artery arises close to the superior border of the pons runs laterally below the oculomotor nerve and this is and winds around the cerebral peduncle below the trochlear nerve to reach the superior surface of the cerebellum which supplies it next is the posterior cerebral artery the posterior cerebral artery passes laterally parallel to the superior cerebellar artery curves around the midbrain to reach the medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere beneath the splenium of the corpus callosum the artery gives of temporal branches which ramify over the inferior surface of the temporal lobe and it gives off calcarine and parieto occipital branches which runs along the corresponding sulci this is a diagrammatic representation so here you can see this is the vertebral artery so both side vertebral artery unite at the lower border of the pons to form the basilar artery which runs in the basilar sulcus on the ventral surface of the pons at the upper border of the pons it terminates by dividing into posterior cerebral artery so this is a posterior cerebral artery termination of the basilar artery is the posterior cerebral artery the branches are pontine branches this is anterior inferior cerebellar artery next you have the labyrinthine artery next you have the superior cerebellar artery and then from the posterior cerebral artery you get the temporal branches anterior temporal branch posterior temporal branch and you have the parieto occipital branch and then you have the calcarine branch so these are the branches from the posterior cerebral artery